Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another video on hair and today's focus is castor oil. Castor oil comes from the seeds of the castor plant and its main component is ricinoleic acid. It is believed that this is what triggers faster hair growth. I'll be applying it to my hair regularly for a month to see what happens. On this channel, I share hacks that have improved the quality of my life and try different experiments in the hope that I find something amazing that I can share to get us all closer to living our dream life. I appreciate that hair can seem like a somewhat superficial topic, but at the end of the day, we can't escape our appearance and we look at ourselves every day and hair is a big part of that. So if we can find one or two things to enhance what we have, why the hell not? On that note, castor oil is famous for being one of the main oils that expedite hair growth. Just take a look at this Google search. The main theme associated with castor oil is hair growth. This is because 85 to 95% of its content, depending on where it is sourced, is ricinoleic acid, alongside small percentages of these other elements. Ricinoleic acid is a fatty acid that helps relieve scalp inflammation. Scalp inflammation is bad as this causes our hair follicles to also become inflamed, which means that our hair follicles aren't receiving the vital nutrients and oxygen it needs to be strong and healthy, which causes hair loss and thinning. Additionally, castor oil is rich in vitamin E, which is important in protecting the scalp from free radical damage. What I've learned is that Poor scalp health is linked to poor hair quality. So vitamin E supports and nourishes the scalp and consequently gives our hair a strong base to grow from. So to see what would happen, I gave myself a month to consistently apply the castor oil to my hair. This is what I did. I set myself a 30 day challenge from July 23rd to August 23rd. Once every four days, I applied castor oil to my hair left it in for three hours, then washed it out. In the month, I ended up doing this eight times. For my hair, which is a medium thickness and is a bit longer than shoulder length, I find two to three tablespoons of castor oil is enough. Castor oil is super thick and sticky and can be hard to work with. To make it easier, I heat up my mini fry pan so it's warm, then take it off the stove and add the amount of oil I want. By warming it up, it feels a little less thick and easier to apply. Also, warm oil increases blood flow and circulation, which is what facilitates hair growth. Let's get started. First, I'm combing my hair with my fingers to get any loose hairs out. It is the worst when your hands are oily and covered in hairs. I then wet my hair a little as the oil is better absorbed when hair is damp. I apply this in a super sophisticated manner with the help of my spoon. There's no correct way of doing this. I generally start by putting some in my middle parting and to the left and right of the parting. Then I massage it in. Taking your time with massaging is important for several reasons. First, massaging the scalp increases blood circulation and studies support the view that more blood flow leads to thicker hair and a reduction of hair loss. Secondly, according to research, scalp massage helps dilate blood vessels beneath the skin and when blood vessels are dilated, blood flow is increased, seeing more oxygen and nutrients to the tissue, and as a result, hair growth takes place quicker. I like to focus on the front as well. Sometimes I feel like I don't have as much hair there as I used to. Then it is a free for all. I do the back, then the sides, To get to the bottom of my hairline and the back of my scalp, I hang my head upside down and massage. This is called the inversion method and this is also believed to stimulate hair growth as hanging your head upside down increases the blood flow to your scalp. This is super relaxing as well. I like to take my time in this position because it's super easy to massage your whole scalp moving from the back to the front to the sides. Your hair is out of the way so you can really massage the oil into the scalp. Some people get dizzy from doing this so please be careful. And that is all. 
three hours later i am back before jumping in the shower i will apply lots of conditioner to my hair i found this hack where if you apply conditioner before going into the shower the oil will come out a lot quicker i tested this several times and it does work so to sum up my routine is to apply conditioner jump in the shower apply shampoo wash it all out add some conditioner to the ends and then wash that out and i'm good to go if you don't want to do this, ensure you shampoo at least twice to get all the oil out. I filmed on various dates to compare my hair growth over time. If we do a side-by-side -side comparison, contrasting video from July 23rd to August 23rd, I can't see a big difference on camera, but in real life, I do feel it is a little longer and that it's grown at a faster rate than it usually does. Keep this in mind though, according to several sources, it takes more than a month of doing this to see a discernible change in hair growth. I'm actually filming this on September 3rd and I can see that it is a lot, like there is a big difference in hair length from when I first started to now. Um, so this is a week after the month challenge. So it's been a bit longer, um, but clearly you can see that there definitely is a lot of growth. Generally though, there have been four improvements that I want to briefly touch on. Number one, my hair feels a lot thicker, more voluminous, and it has a bounce that it hasn't had um, for quite a while. Um, not so much today, uh, but if you look back to the videos that I took throughout the month, you can see down the bottom that there is a bounce and there is a wave. My hair is naturally wavy and I lost it for a while because my hair was just kind of lifeless. So this certainly brought it back. I highly recommend castor oil for any of you um, that have thin hair. Number two, my hair is so much softer and less tangly. It simply doesn't get knotty. And for a while I, well, when I had longer hair, I was really struggling to brush through it. I'd wake up with so many knots after showers. It would take a while to get through. And after I've been using castor oil, it's really easy just to glide through with my brush. Number three, I can say overall, there's a bit less frizz and I have less flyaways than I did before doing this experiment. If I come close, you can still see quite a bit. Usually it's worse. Also, I just had a shower earlier today. So um, on the first and second day after washing, it tends to be um, a bit more like this. Um, but by day three and four, it certainly settles. And number four, I have literally had no dandruff. But yeah, no, it's really good if you have issues with dandruff.
So I'm pretty impressed with castor oil and 100% believe that my hair is healthier for it. I'm going to continue with this experiment for the next two months. I'm going to dial it back and apply it once every week and I'm going to report back and we can see um, the impact it's had on the length of my hair. Super exciting. I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comment section if you try this challenge and how it works out for you. And please forward any feedback you have. Anyway, have a beautiful day and I will see you on the next one. Bye.